a kindly grandma who lived by herself and was getting up in years realized it was becoming too difficult to buy presents for each of her grandkids. So this one year she decides, I'll just get them each a card, write Merry Christmas, enclose a check, and add the words, buy your own present. Now, as she drove away from the post office, she felt pretty good about getting those in the mail in plenty of time for Christmas until she got home and saw on her dresser the stack of checks she meant to include, which meant she realized each grandkid would open a card which said, with no check in it, which said, Merry Christmas, buy your own present. And when she realized what she had done, this grandma gives the best response. She laughs and laughs and laughs at herself. She had come to a certain level of comfort with the word oops. And knowing that we all make mistakes. You know, over the next few days, she'd phone each of her grandkids, explain it, they'd have a laugh together. And everyone loved her. I mean, how could they not? She'd learned the ability to not take herself so seriously all the time, to say oops, and to be able to make amends and laugh at herself. Wouldn't it be great if we could all learn to accept the fact that we make mistakes and that it's okay that we do so? It is. We all fail and flub up sometimes, right? Wouldn't it be great if like that grandma, we could just relax a bit, say oops, laugh at ourselves, make amends where needed. Because the truth is, if you haven't already done something like that grandma did, you will. Now, one of the misunderstandings of today's feast, the Feast of the Holy Family, is that any family, even the Holy Family, could be without Mistakes, tension, worry, some aggravation. My goodness, in Luke's gospel, Jesus, I mean, he makes it very clear. When Jesus was 12, the family went to Jerusalem for the Passover, and as would be the custom, they'd travel with a big group. And you kind of all this loose-knit collection of folks. And on the way back, they're making their way with each other, and at, at some point... They realize Jesus wasn't there, and they look at each other and go, oops, <laughs> I thought you had him, I thought you had him, oops. And then when Mary finds him and is kind of aggravated, he goes, I, I meant to tell you that I was going to stay behind a bit, oops. Now, I'm, I'm sure they had to talk that through, make amends a bit, decide how they would communicate in the future, but the tendency is for us to paint the Holy Family in idyllic strokes, as if they were perfect in every way. Yet their family, like each of ours, has its moment of tensions, miscommunication, worry. But that's life. Life is imperfect. So is family. You know, we... Many of us get tempted to think that the goal should be perfection. It's a very dangerous goal. When we seek perfection, we often get very hard on others and are hard on ourselves, and we miss the good that is there because it's not perfect. Now, I'm not saying we don't work on being better human beings. That's our call as followers of Jesus. But when we think perfection is even attainable, are the noble goal. It, it yields the most angry people, right? And angry at the world, angry at themselves, angry at others. And again, we miss what is most real right in front of ourselves. And then sometimes if we expect perfection from ourselves, we get discouraged when we flub up or fail. We carry a certain amount of shame, right? But we, we give up. Well, that donut wasn't on my diet. 
But since I had it, I might as well have six each day for the rest of the week. All right, right, yeah, yeah. And then sometimes we shame ourselves and go, I'm just no good. Wrong. None of that diminishes the deep down goodness in each of us. We don't need to carry shame. Oops, says I, I made a mistake there. Shame says I am a mistake, that I am bad. The word oops belongs. And again, when we hold others to that same standard, we miss the goodness that is there. Now, I know some of us struggle with this more than others. <laughs> it's why I spent so much time the last two years researching to write a new book, which should be out in about a month or so. Are you good enough yet? <laughs> a book for perfectionists and all who try too hard or worry too much. Because it's a temptation to then, for me at least it is, to think I should be able to somehow be perfect and the love will go away if I'm not perfect. I need to more and more tell myself, oops, that didn't go so well. It doesn't mean I'm bad. And to be more at peace with that, right? Now, I am not saying that in our homes we accept violence or abuse. There is way too much of that in this world. And next weekend's bulletin will have information for anyone who lives with that yourselves or if you know someone who does. Information for how to protect yourself, steps you can take, because that's not okay. Today, St. Paul describes what healthy relationships look like in the world and in our own families. And he reminds us that we are to put on heartfelt compassion, huge, kindness, humility, forgiveness. And then he says, over all of those put on love, he does not say put on perfection, rigid control, or mistake-free living. Rather, the love that encourages, forgives, and learns. Like, oops, I am so sorry I treated you that way, that I said that or did that. You deserve better, and I want to learn from this going forward. Now that's the stuff of a holy family. That right there. Here we are at the eve of a new year, in the feast of the holy family. Perhaps part of our call, even as we work on being better human beings, and perhaps even New Year's resolutions, and in particular, how to make amends when we do hurt others, is to become a bit more comfortable with being imperfect. That we let oops become a part of our vocabulary. And just as importantly, that we don't write off others because they don't measure up to some impossible standard of perfection. We all make mistakes. What a gift we offer this world, our families, and ourselves. If like that grandma, we could become a little more comfortable with our foibles and let the word oops be a part of our vocabulary.